We're going live, we're going live, we're going live, we're going live, we're going live. Welcome to Mommy Academy. We're Femi with Dingy Dang. So much time! I'm so excited that it is the holiday we call the 4th of July or Independence Day. Tanky, do you know what this holiday is about? That's a good try. And there's going to be a lot of American flags because the 4th of July, it's about America's birthday. Ah! Ah! I want to celebrate that. <laughs> That's ah! right. I want to decorate the house with you. Ah! We should have American flags and American flag t-shirts, all things America because we're so excited about celebrating America's birthday. We are going to now do a craft for our 4th of July. And guess what we're going to do today? We're going to do American flags! We're going to make our own flags. So what you're going to need for this is some cardstock white paper. You're going yep. to, oh. And we need the blue and the red. That's right. A and this, the sparkles and stars and the blue. Excellent, excellent. So this is just a quarter. So I just folded the blue paper into quarters and cut it out. And then let's see how many red stripes do we need for this. We need uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six red stripes for a regular eight and a half by 11. <laughs> and these are about two centimeters each thickness. So that might help you. You're going to need some glue. And we have star stickers. You can, of course, cut out stickers if you want to. And then to make it just a little bit special, we do have some sparkle glitter pens to make some fireworks effect at the end. Okay, now Tanya's gonna tell you how it's done. What do okay. you need to do? Let's start with the red stripes. Very good. Okay, let's start. Red stripes. Or you can tape a stick onto the side if you want to wave your flag. 
or you could put it in the window. It's such a pretty display. All right, our America flag is done. Next, it's time to read a story about America's birthday and what 4th of July is all about. Do you know about the story of America's birthday? No. Nope. Well, we have a book to share with you today called The Story of America's Birthday. Isn't that perfect? And it is written by Patricia A. Pingree and illustrated by Meredith Johnson. All right, are you ready to hear the book? Yeah. Me too. Forward! Oh, let's do it together. Put your hands together like a firework that's starting up in the sky. Go. Yeah. Ah, good job. We learned that from Mr. G. Do you know why? Hi, Mr. G. <laughs> do you know why we celebrate July 4th? 4th. Do you know why we celebrate July 4th? Because of America's birthday. Exactly. Because July 4th is America's birthday. This is the day America became free. And here's a bunch of people celebrating. They're all walking in the streets in a parade. <gasps> How fun. It's a 4th of July parade. And, and some of them are different characters. That's right. They're d dressed up in red, white, and blue. Hmm, why do you think they're wearing clothes that are red, white, and blue? Even the dog has red, white, and blue on. Cat! But why? What's red, white, and blue? A flag. That's right. Red, white, people. blue, red, white, blue. And you know what the sign says here? Mm -hmm. Happy. Happy birthday. Happy 4th of July. Cool, just like ours. Do we have a big puzzle with the states of America? Yeah. Today, America has 50 states, but many years ago, there were only 13 states called colonies. Can you say colonies? Colonies! <laughs> Good job, colonies. So America was much smaller. We hadn't become 50 states yet. People who lived in the colonies were called colonists. The colonists were not free. A country across the ocean called England owned the colonies. The colonies flew the English flag. Their leader was the English king, King George. And here's the boats, and they all have the English flag on them. There was no America flag back then. The King of England wanted the colonists to pay him money, called a tax. Everything was taxed, even the tea the colonists drank. Mm. The colonists did not like to pay taxes to the king. On July 4th of 1776, leaders from the colonies met. One of the leaders, Thomas Jefferson, wrote the Declaration of Independence. It said, all men are created equal. It declared America free. The Declaration of Independence made the King of England angry. The King sent his army to fight the colonists. Do you see all of these people in the army? What color are their coats? Whoa, they are red. That's right, so they would call them the red coats. One day at Yorktown, Virginia, the king gave up and called his army home. Never again would a king tell Americans what to do. The American soldiers won, but boy, it was a hard battle. Every year on July 4th, we celebrate America's birthday. We have picnics, we watch fireworks, we are thankful that America is free. Good job. We say, Happy Birthday, America! Happy Birthday, America! Yay! Yay! Hey, hey! Did you like that story? Yup, yup, yup! Woo! 
and maybe you have some special plans for the 4th of July. This year's a little different because of the coronavirus, but just remember that we do live in an amazing place and being able to keep our freedom is so important. Happy 4th of July, everyone. Thanks for watching. Please like, please share. We want to bring as much value to the children and educators as possible. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Bye.